Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to backtest an option strategy based off of implied volatility. Now in this video, the main requirement is options data and I'm gonna be using end of day data. What I wanted to backtest was taking the averages of the implied volatilities for both the calls and the puts, having less than 14 days to expiration, but greater than zero, and subtracting that by the long-term implied volatility. And I focused on the days to expiration between 15 and 30. Let's take a look at what we can do with this indicator and see if we can spot some opportunities. So here are some of the packages we're going to require. The first thing we need to do is read in the options data. I start off by assigning a stock I wanted to backtest. So we're gonna focus on Tesla. I then read in the unique trading days in my database for my options. The next step is to get stock data from Yahoo Finance. So I'm focusing on the adjusted closes. Now I had to write a function to get my options from my database. I will then split by short term and long term. And if you wanna follow along with your own data, the columns I used were IV, volume, open interest, the percentage change for each option on that day, the flag, whether it's a call or a put, and of course the trading date. After I have my data split between short term and long term, I take in the averages for each of those columns. And for each of the days, I'm just gonna row bind my results. So that was the function. I will then pass in the dates and I'll use L apply and assign it into table. So if we take a look at that data frame, this is what the results look like. We should have four rows for each trading day, two for calls and two for puts, short term and long term. Now, once we have that table, we can go ahead and plot them against the stock. So I'm gonna use subset to split the calls and the puts. And for each of the trading days, I'm just gonna take the difference between each of the columns. So that will be my short term minus the long term. After I reassign calls and puts, I'm gonna convert these into XTS objects and merge them with the stock. And now we can go ahead and plot and see visually using this block and see if we can spot any trends. So the green line is the stock. And then we have all of our indicators. So we have the call IV minus the put IV, the volume of the calls minus the volume of the puts. Similarly, we have our open interest for the calls minus the open interest for the puts. And finally, we have the percentage change of the calls minus the percentage change of the puts. And I'm using a running average of 14 days. So what I wanted to focus on was the IVs. We may need to incorporate these other indicators, but for now, I just wanted to focus on one. So in this next block, I'm going to add quantile bands of our IVs and if we take a look at that plot. And similar to the RSI, I wanted to focus on these extreme points where our indicator lies above or below our quantile bands. So if it's above, I want to short. If it's below, I want to long. So here in the next section, I'm gonna identify those points. So we start off by using subset to identify the points that lie above and below our bands. Now for each of those cases, I'm gonna extract the percentage return of the stock three days, five days, seven days, and nine days after the signal was generated. We do this for the upper and lower levels. I'm gonna use high chart to plot the actual results. If we take the cumulative sum of our returns for each of the holding periods and split them by short instances, long instances, and if we wanna combine the two, we're gonna use long and short instances by adding the first two. So if we take a look at those plots, we'll start off with the short instances. So the cumulative sum that seems to hold our shorter time periods. Here we have an outperformance of the three day holding period. Now for the long instances, Again, we see that the shorter holding periods seem to outperform the longer ones by a wide margin. And if we combine the two, that is trading the long and short instances, we see that the three and five day holding periods seem to outperform having a total return of 120 for the three day and 90% for the five day. I may need to add or incorporate the other indicators that we created and see if we can find some alpha there. But with that guys, this concludes the video. I just wanted to show you guys a back test using options and hopefully trigger some ideas that you can incorporate in your trading. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.